Well, hello, everyone. We are still here at First Energy Stadium where the Browns, can you believe it, finally beat the Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger, who, of course, they never, ever beat. But they did today, 31-10. to 10. Uh, They did it in part because Brian Hoyer erupted with three touchdown drives in the second quarter. And, uh, you know, they just never let their foot off the gas. Tom? Uh, yeah, as, as, in, as impressive of a win as I've seen in a while and in a very emotional day, uh, the Browns lost Alex Mack, and we'll get more into that. But uh, just a, a tremendous all-around performance. The Browns really only gave up three points. They got the – Pittsburgh got the garbage touchdown at the end. But uh, just a really good – effort from all phases of the team. And like Tom said, uh, the victory has to be tempered just a little bit by the loss of two-time Pro Bowl center Alex Mack. He left the game with a broken leg. Uh, I've been told that it's a broken fibula. He's most likely out for the season. I think there's very little hope uh, that he would be able to make it back at all and play even, you know, late in the season if, you know, in the event that they're still going, you know, postseason or whatever. He's likely out. Uh, then also Armani Bryant, uh, who was in there starting in place of Phil Taylor, he left the game. I saw him leave in a big leg brace on crutches, uh, and that one looked really bad too. So unfortunately for them, uh, they lose two good players, particularly the rock in the center of that offensive line. Yeah, we talked to Joe, uh, Joe Thomas after the game, and that's as, as emotional as I've ever seen Joe Thomas after a game. He he admitted that he uh, he he teared up uh, not only right after it happened, but several times during the course of the game, where he just the emotion of of all you know their brotherhood of of playing together for six straight years. I mean, Mac hasn't missed a snap in more than five thousand snaps. Of course, Thomas' streak is still going well past seven thousand, and you know they, they they talk about it just being a brotherhood. And the other part, of course, the other point here is that look, these these guys just have not been on a winning team. And I think they sense it now. They sense that the tide may be turning a little bit here. And to lose Alex Mack at this time where he's going through, you know, it's been such a, a struggle. But, but again, let's, let's focus on the positive today. It was, it was a great win for the Browns. It really was a great win for the Browns. And uh, they really got it rolling there again in the second quarter. Uh, Brian Hoyer came through with a couple of big plays. He hit Jordan Cameron on two huge plays. It was a big day for Jordan Cameron because he didn't have a whole ton of catches. Uh, he only had three, but they went for 102. Two yards. One was a 51-yard touchdown catch. Uh, the other one set up the first score. That was another huge, huge play. Uh, ben T Tate came through. He had two touchdowns. Uh, that really uh, helped matters. And then you can't say enough about a defense that really, for the most part, held the Steelers to those three points, like you said, garbage touchdown. But this was a battered, banged up, much maligned defense. They really came through. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dante Whitner apparently on Thursday challenged uh, the, in the defensive backs and said, look, I don't know if you're reading the papers or I don't know if you're hearing what they're saying on, on the TV and radio about us, but we got we basically have to man up here. We've got to, we got to show that we're better than this. And, and they responded. I, I thought that, uh, you know, Kawan Williams, who another player that left the game with a concussion, I thought he played really well. I thought that he made, made a couple nice pass defense. Joe Hayden made a couple nice plays today. Uh, and, and, you know, the Steelers ended up getting a lot of yards, but, uh, you know, it was just the Browns did not want to give up big plays, which they didn't. And it, it, this turned around today. What was interesting is, you know, we, all we've been talking about is the Browns giving up big plays. Today they got six plays. The Browns had six plays of 24 yards or more, which you were alluding to. You know, Brian Hoyer didn't have a great day as far as his passing percentage, but, boy, when he hit him, he hit some big plays. That's right. And you know what? Uh, Mike Pettin talked about the fact that they kind of simplified the defense today. He said uh, you could fit the play calls on the back of a, of a calling card. Uh, so, you know, they really kind of dialed it back a little bit. Uh, they knew that they had a lot of guys banged up, and they knew Big Ben was coming to town, and he was 18-1 and against these Cleveland Browns. The emotion was running high all across the board after this victory. You saw Brian Ho Hoyer going up to fans. There was a big sign there that said, this is Hoyer country. He's now 6-2 and two as a starter for the Cleveland Browns. Can you even wrap your head around that? No, no it's just, uh, I love the T-shirts, the American Hoyer story. It's, it's one of my favorite T-shirts I've seen in a long time. It's very clever, whoever came up with it. And, yeah, I mean, the, the guy, all he does is win. I mean, people don't want to take things away from him, but all he does is win, and that, that's the main thing you, you want from a quarterback. And, you know, they got a very spirited effort, too, from Isaiah Crowell today. He also had a touchdown. Uh, he rushed for 77 yards, average 7.0. Terrence West was on the missing list today. He was a healthy scratch. Coach said he needs to get some things figured out, practice a little harder. 
Yeah, I and mean, it's 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 amazing that they scratched a guy that ran for 100 yards against the Browns. That shows you how deep they are at running back right now. Against the Steelers, you mean? But I'm we. Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we knew exactly what you meant there. Anyways, all in all, a big, huge victory for the Browns, who now go to three and two. They're above 500. They got a couple of. Uh, cream puffs coming up oh boy <laughs> i predicted a while ago they were going to go five and zero oh during this little sweet spot of their schedule we shall see if they can pull that off but for right now everyone is basking in the euphoria of this huge win over the pittsburgh steelers and that's it from first energy stadium